What's going on folks and welcome back to another scum video. I hope we're all doing well. We're on a roll today. This is our second video and I've uh, been meaning to get these out for you. And always, uh, thank you very much for your ongoing support, ladies and gents. So firstly, I want to have a look at what, what boats do we have in the game altogether. So we have a paddleboard here that we can find. We have a craftable paddleboard here. We have a rib, so we have a motorboat there, and we have three other wooden motorboats you can find around the island as well. All these will need fuel, and if you don't have any fuel, uh, you can use the oars that they come with. Uh, we also have the big raft over here. Now, there is a little bit of a difference with some of these. You can store items in some of these, and some of these you can't. So, obviously, with this one, you can't. With this one here, you can. If you right-click and open inventory, you've got a little bit of room there. Now, just to make things clear, you can find these paddle boards around, ladies and gents. Now, this is how you use them. Um, so we're going to start off with this. So if we drive, um, you can use it just by doing this. So obviously, we're just edging ourselves off the bay here. And if I go back in there, you can see... Uh, right, let's get off of that. And now we're going to take the big paddle board. Okay, so this is the big one long paddle that we can find now if you drive it with the long paddle you actually stand up and i'm gathering that you can probably go faster like this as well because it is longer um and gives you more leverage so yeah i'm guessing that that will make you go faster this one this is really really cool it's actually really fun to actually drive these um we're going to check out one of these uh, other boats right now for you guys so you have the long paddles and you have these ones that you can find and you have your improvised paddle there as well so if you go into your crafting menu you can see that basic engineering is small improvised raft and big improvised raft um and if you go up the top here you will find uh improvised short paddle uh there as well which is this one this is the improvised one that you can make so don't forget when you do look at all this stuff that you can craft uh bear in mind look on the left hand side and you will see all the items you need to make these. Um, also bear in mind that the higher engineering skill, uh, the less items you will need. The weather's getting a little choppy here, so this could be quite interesting. Uh, so what I want to do... Um, is it, Tide looks like it's going in and out. I think that's due to the weather kicking in. Um, now, we have some fuel here. This has no fuel in it right now, so if you just hold F over the engine and fill fuel, you can actually fuel it up there and we're going to leave this on the shore like that now if we get in the boat we can drive it and you will start if you just press a w it will start the engine near here, like this okay just try not to damage it because it does have a health meter as well so you can actually take this out and you can even fish from these as well which is awesome Really, really cool. In first person view. Absolutely incredible, right, guys? And you can have someone uh, sitting in there as well, and you can fire from these two. So, let's turn around. Let's go back in the bay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you... Oh. There seems to be a little bit of an issue. When the weather gets a little bit choppy, the, the, rather than the boat going above the water, staying above the water and sort of, you know, um, it goes like that and it kind of goes under it so there are some tweaks to be made okay so let's let's push this uh, let's drive this onto land and let's say that you run out of fuel we're going to go over to this one here let's say you run out of fuel you can drive it from here which you can use these so if you do have any issues <laughs> I think I've grounded this. No, I haven't. I haven't. I'm so close. I'm risking this here, okay, guys? I'm risking it. I think I have. Oh, this is good. So, yeah. You don't want to beach it too much, but you can push these. So, let's just use this as an example. So, I've beached that pretty much. So, if I press... Uh, if I unanchor it, push... Oh, yeah, I forgot the whole anchor thing. When you get onto the boat, always hold F while looking down at it and unanchor. And anchor it when you stay still. So you can see that pushing will push the boat out. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do, we're going to have a quick look uh, here. Also, them boats do have storage space as well. So have a little look. So now this has the largest storage of them all. Look at the size of this storage, guys. You can do a lot with this. Um, and also, if you're under fire, 
you can go in here and you can actually get away from the fire and sit in your little compartment thingy. I can't wait to see stuff like this. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, let's click drive. Let's unanchor it first and we're going to click drive. Um, and then what will happen is, is the sail will come down as you start to drive it. Now the sails do make a difference, okay? Um, right, I think with the way that the waves are going, every time the water goes in, I'm actually dropping, look. So you can see how that works when the weather's a little choppy. So I'm just going to keep turning it here till we actually go out. And then we can actually sail off. Right, there we go. Right, so I'm going to go down again here. Right, let's press W. Now, this is the clever part. If you press Q and or E, that tilts the actual sail. And if you look on the bottom right-hand side, you can see you're either going faster or you're going slower. So you know which way... Um, you know where, which way the wind's coming from because you want the wind to catch the sail, right? Uh, so wind does come into this when you're sailing. So let's have a little let's have a little look. So we've got the arrow at the top. The, there's an arrow on top of the ship which you can see on top of the raft rather, and you can see that it's constantly staying in that direction. So the wind, it says, is heading south, and as you can see, I'm actually picking up speed. We're at 10 now, 11. So we are picking up speed. And this can differ. Um, and wind can also push you the wrong way. Now, if I was to face this way and then put the sail directly in front of me. It's actually slowing down now. Okay, we need to put it here. We need to put it at this angle, I think. Uh, but if we take it back to this side, it should slow down. As you can see here. We're actually, we're actually going at a nice little speed here. So every time you make a turn, it might even slow it down. And you might need to move the sails. But you can only move them very slowly like this. This is the only two that you can actually... Uh, directions you can actually change this. I really like the boats. I think they're going to bring a whole new atmosphere into the game. And obviously, you can see here now, if I just press F... So now I'm literally on the boat. We can... I can hide in here, and I can snipe the bad guys on the mountains who's trying to shoot me. Um, so you can get, give yourself some defense with these as well. Um, I think it does need a tweak for these to stay above the water. But I'm absolutely loving this. I think this is awesome. I really, really do. Uh, but hopefully that gave you a little bit of an insight to the boats uh, and the storage. Uh, and what ones you can use. Oh, look, there's another one over there. Nice. Nice. Um, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I really do. Um, in fact, there's two videos out, so I hope you enjoy both of them. Uh, and guys, please stay safe. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up on your way out. And I'll catch you in the next one, which will be the crossbows. So uh, stay safe, take care. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.